what's up? We are going to start our still life full drawings this week. So before we do anything, the first thing we need to do is choose a reference photo. Of the five photos I provide you, you will be choosing one to be your reference photo for your still life drawing. Choose a photo that's best for you. Do not choose a photo that you think will be too difficult, but the, at the same time, I want you guys to challenge yourselves. Here are some of the images that you can choose from. This is one of the simpler images with the three pumpkins. You want to notice the shadowing and the lighting that you're going to be doing in your images as well. So while you're looking through these photos, I want you to keep that in mind. Here's another image with the three pumpkins and a basket. This is a little bit more challenging than the first photo, but keep in mind of the shadows and the lighting in these images, along with the textures of the pumpkins and the basket. Next, we're adding in some more little pumpkins and acorns and leaves. Again, we're focusing on where our highlights and our lighting is, where's our shadows, and what textures are we using for all of these objects in our drawing. This is just a different angle of that photo. Um, the other one was more up close. This one's set further back, so that's your choice. And lastly is an option where you're doing everything inside the basket. This, I think, is the most difficult one to do. So after you choose your photo, we're going to use the paper I sent you home with to get started. So for this video, I chose to do the photo that included the basket, but also know that at home you should have a 2H, a 2B, a 4B, and a 6B pencil that you'll be using to do your fall drawing. Once you have your still life image picked out, I would tape that either in front of you or to the side of you so that you can constantly look at it. You want to notice all the shapes of the pumpkins and the basket, where your highlights are going to be, where's your shadow is going to be. And for now, I just want you to start outlining your pumpkins and if you chose the basket, the basket. You are using the entire paper, so do not draw small. A little fun fact about using the entire paper for this project is that the larger you draw these objects, the easier it is to include all the details and really pinpoint everything that you want to be drawing for your still life image. So again, it may not look like I'm drawing anything right now, but I'm just lightly outlining everything that I have for my still life drawing. So I'm starting out with a basket and then I'll go into my pumpkins. Keep in mind, I'm using the 2H pencil. That is your lightest pencil. So that way, if I mess up, it's easier to erase. Also notice how I'm holding the pencil. I'm holding it more so in the middle rather than how I normally would if I'm writing something. I'm not pressing down hard and I'm just lightly grazing the paper to have my outline. This is probably the most important part of your drawing because this is the outline and the setup for you to really go into detail with everything else. So take your time with this when you're doing your outline. Don't rush it and just draw random shapes. I really want you to look at the picture, see the picture, and draw exactly what you're seeing or close to it. So just to repeat, again, I'm holding my pencil in the middle, I'm doing light strokes to do my outline for all of my shapes of my pumpkins and my basket so far. I'm not pressing down hard just in case I want to erase anything. And also because later on when I'm doing the shading, I want to be able to blend things in nicely and not have those harsh pencil lines. Again, you should be using the 2H pencil to do your outline of your still life drawing. For this class period, all I want you to do is work on your outline of your image that you have chosen and then you're going to be taking a picture and uploading that to Teams. Again, I understand right now it may look from the video that you cannot see anything that I've been drawing this whole time, but that is because I am using my pencil so lightly for my outline. I am going to bring it closer just to really show you that it, everything is there. I did outline it, I did draw it out, but I made it very light on my paper. So that's what I want you guys to be doing today, and you're taking a picture and uploading it. What you're going to do tomorrow is you're going to start adding some details to so whatever piece you want to start working with. 
For instance, I'm going to start with the basket. So I'm going to start making the brim of that a little bit darker and showing how the woodwork really works in the green. So I'm going to start having my pencil marks go to horizontally in the brim. Then I'm also going to add in some extra lines to show that it's planks of wood that are connected to make this basket. Again, this is going to be day two of your drawing your still life picture. You should not be doing this for day one. This is just day two stuff where you're adding everything in. Again, I want you to notice where my hands are on my pencil. I'm not holding it close to the end like I'm writing something. I'm holding it in the middle and I'm holding it lightly, delicately, and just doing gentle strokes on my paper. That is key for when you're doing any still life drawing or shading. I'm going to speed this portion up a little bit, but I want you guys to, again, watch my hand going with the pencil, how I'm holding the pencil, which way I'm floating the pencil, drawing across my paper. These are really important tips to help you with your still life drawing. Again, just to recap, this is day two of doing more outlining on at least one of your objects in your still life image. Tomorrow we're going to start doing some more shading. So take a picture of this and upload it onto Teams. If you have any questions, you can message me there.